I warned him, Ben. I give him clear warning. Well, nobody expects any more, Sam. You've been told you're on Ponderosa land. I'd be obliged if you turned the tails of those sheep and got them off. Are you, uh, Ben Cartwright? Drummond. Jeb Drummond is my name. We ain't bringing no trouble. We're just looking to pass through on the way to California. No more than that. Well, Mr. Drummond, I'm sorry. I can't let you take those sheep across the Ponderosa. You mean you... You got all this here, and you ain't willing for us just to cut through? That's what I mean. Why, you got enough land here to parcel out a state of your own, and you're sitting fat right on top of it, ain't you? Let me ask you a question, Mr. Cartwright. What more right have you got to this land than me? It's mine. That's right enough. Every inch of this land's deeded in our name, if that's what's bothering you, Mr. Drummond. Oh, a deed, huh? Why, a deed is only a piece of paper. Looks to me like all they got is some scribbling on paper. It's what backs up the scribbler, Mr. Drummond. That's what counts. How many of you count, Billy? Five, Jeb. Just five. Less than we got. Well, there's... Uh... No cause to draw down. I was just, uh, just resting. Look, I'm, uh, I'm only trying to get passage through to California. And I aim to pay for it, too. Drummond, I don't want any of your money. Well, uh, it's getting on near the dark. You, uh, wouldn't mind if we was to camp here for the night. Well, all right. But you make sure you're gone by tomorrow morning. Is that understood? You won't find us here. I promise you that. Oh, I've got an idea. Oh, about what, Adam? Well, I've been thinking. The way the country's growing, and more people coming west, California, we could cut a road across the north section of the Ponderosa. Hmm. Not a bad idea. I'll give it some thought. Well, I'd uh, like to start on it, Bob. Well, I had it my set. I'd give it some thought. Oh, by the way, tomorrow morning I want you to ride out and see if Drummond or those sheep of his have cleared out. And what if he hasn't? Well, then we'll make sure he's cleared out. Well, why do we have to take the law in our own hands? No, we're not taking any law into our own hands. What do you want me to do? Open up the Ponderosa to every scavenger that comes along? Drummond's kind turns the land to dust and then just moves on. Look, Pa, I'm not saying let Drummond in. But there are going to be people after him. Farmers, traders, homesteaders. Now, what are you going to do? Take a gun to them, too? Now, you know that isn't so, Adam. But I will take a gun to Drummond's kind. He'll grab anything he can get his hands on. Now, tomorrow morning, you go out there and see that he's gone. Is that understood? Yeah. All right, Pa, anything to say? Bushwhacker off for good last night. Want me to ride in the town, tell the sheriff? I don't need any sheriff. That flock of sheep, he couldn't have gone more than a few miles. We can get rid of him before dark. Now, wait a minute, Paul. Let the law do it this time. What's wrong with you, boy? You want to sit here and twiddle your thumbs while Drummond's sheep eat our land bear? By the time the lawyers and the sheriff and the court in Virginia City get through haggling with what should be done, the whole North Pass will be torn up. Get your guns. We've got work to do. What kind of work, Paul? Get those sheep off our land. Now, look, Pa, I don't want you running after Drummond. Now, just settle down. You're going soft, boy. Paul, you're just as bad as he is. I'm what? You and Drummond both think you're a law unto yourselves, and you're not. Without the law, a man's no better than dirt. Now, you listen to something from me. I cleared that land that Drummond's driving his sheep through. I worked it till my hands cracked open and the sweat blinded my eyes. And I planted that grass, and with the Lord's help, it grew. And I'm not going to let the sheep herder who never did an honest day's work in his life ruin it. Are you coming with me or not? I ain't going. Drummond, I ought to let you and your sheep starve. Looks like I did work myself into a hole, kind of. Now, Drummond, you broke your word to me. You're not going to break it again. I'm going to give you one last chance to get those sheep out of here. Maybe we can make ourselves a little deal. No deal, Drummond. Clear those sheep out. 
He don't give a man much space to twist in, does he? He means it. Now, either you get out, or you get starved out. All right, boys. Put down your guns. I get my sheep out of here come morning. You get your sheep out right now. Sure beats me. Here you own half the world. And me, all I'm asking is the right to drive a few miserable sheep across the corner of your land. You'd think you could do a man that little good. You got a mighty unreasonable old man, boy. Now, Grumman, get those sheep out now. All right, boys, you got your orders. All right. All right, can you hear me? You call your men off or I'd kill your boy right now. Go. Us. Hold your fire. All right, now clear out. You still trapped in that hole, Drummond? Am I? You got yourself an empire, ain't you, Mr. Cartwright? Is it worth your boy's life? Well, is it? What do you want, Drummond? <laughs> you hear that, Billy boy? <laughs> what I want, Mr. Cartwright? Ain't that what you said? Well, I'll tell you flat out. First off, I'm going to run my sheep across your land. And I'm going to graze them till they're full enough to bust. And your son is going to be with me every step of the way. And if you try stopping me, I'm going to put a bullet right in the back of his skull. It's been a long ways to here, Mr. Cartwright. A long ways and a lot of time. And if you've got any doubt about my meaning what I say, well, you just make your play. All right, Drummond. I can't stop you. But you listen to me, you listen good. If you put a scratch on my boy, I'll find you and I'll kill you. If I have to follow you clear to hell. Well, how come I'm seeing all this vinegar? Sorry, Paul, you don't have no root bakers. Guess I'll be leaving. Sure do thank you for all your help. For the shirt, little Joe. You're welcome. Where you go now? I don't know exactly. Billy, you ever think of taking a homestead? You mean a place of my own? Yeah. Sure, but... Well, uh, we got a lot of open land here in the Ponderosa. I figured that Adam here could probably help you pick out a good piece of it. You mean a piece of your land? Well, we got a lot of people coming out this way. I, I guess we'll have to make some room for them all, including the law. Well, Mr. Cartwright, I, I sure will try to live up to your faith in me. Well, Billy, you better, because if I catch you stepping out of line just once, why, I'll... You'll, uh, go get the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> 